I'm Eleanor Stride, I work in the Institute of Biomedical Engineering at the University of Oxford and I am a biomedical engineer. I came into engineering through a rather unconventional route, uh, actually via my art teacher at school. Initially intending to be an industrial designer, I then became hooked on ultrasound imaging whilst I was at university and I haven't looked back. Engineering is hugely about creativity as well as about the appliance of science, so I think there's actually a very strong connection between art and engineering. A huge problem with treatments for large diseases such as cancer and stroke is that the drugs that are used carry very unpleasant side effects. So what we're aiming to do to benefit patients is to increase the amount of drug that is delivered to a disease site, for example a tumour, whilst minimising the risk of side effects. So the principle we're adopting is to encapsulate the drug in some sort of particle or in many cases a bubble. That can be injected into the bloodstream so we can release the drug at a particular site on demand. The main thing that engineers like to do is to solve problems so I think the sense of achievement if we can get this actually working in the clinic and helping patients will be fantastic. I wasn't aware that I was being nominated for the IET AF Harvey Research Prize for this year. Um, when I found out I was first stunned and then delighted. When I found out that I had actually won the prize, I was even more stunned um, and then even more delighted because it's going to allow us to take the research forward. One of our challenges is making microbubbles more effectively, so what we're going to be spending the AF Harvey prize money on is developing a device that gives us much tighter control over our microbubbles and how much drug is encapsulated within them. What we're hoping over the next three years is that we will have a working device that we can then take into use in the clinic. I obviously do feel extremely proud to have uh, won the award, um, both for myself but particularly for my research team. I think it's uh, fantastic to have our, our work recognised and gives us the opportunity to take it forward.